Let's learn. Let's all learn. Let's all. And at that. Let's start Python. Let's all learn. <laughs> yes, yes, it's very popular. Google Nas and BCA. So, I'm guessing this is. Hello, today we're going to learn Python with SolarLearn. You can download this app in Android or you can go to your website, solarlearn.com. So, let's do it. Hmm. Welcome to Python. The three major versions of Python are 1.8, 1.x, 2.x, and 3.x. These are subdivided into minor versions as 2.7 and 3.3. Code written for Python 3.x is guaranteed to work in all future versions, both Python 2.0. X and 3.8 are used currently. This covers Python 3.x, but is it hard to change from one version to another? Yep, that is all true. So if you want to learn what is commonly used today, we are going to use Python 2.x. There are only minor differences between 2.x and 3.x, but since 3.x is the future, you should probably start learning from there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, I have finished this course by the way. So just like any other program, if you, if you have done Arduino, you use print from print a string. So your first program, let's start off by creating a short program that displays hello world. So in Ruby, you use put, but basically If you want to review or get a basic understanding of Python programming, this is where you go. This is also a great reference for it. We're going to be able to see that multiple lines of text. As such, one part of learning is doing so. Because you are required to input numbers yourself, it enables you to learn better. Now, this is only a basic. So, Python can also do calculations. So, what is 1 plus 2 plus 3? This is 6. Um, as you progress, you will be able to... Since I'm, since I'm actually using the uh, Android app version, uh, there are some differences between the other app version and the web app version. In the web app version, you can try uh, to adjust the code yourself. In the Android app version, you need to uh, click a link to go to that web HTML version. So, Python also carries out multiplication division using asterisk to indicate multiplication and forward slash to indicate division. So, that's how you do basic math. Which option is is the output is called? Four plus eight is twelve. Six. You can also go back if you've forgotten. For example, I forgot. Is it integer or float? Yes, th this outputs a float. The minus indicates a negative number. Operators are performed on negative numbers just as they are on positive numbers. I have to make this code right. So negative one. So we need another negative number, which is not nope, that's the wrong one. Crap, 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 crap. Sorry about that. Negative one. Check. Dividing by zero divided by an error, as no answer can be calculated. So show the mean. You'll have divided by zero, and you create a black hole. Ah, just joking. So, negative 5 plus 5 is 0, and any number divided by 0 is 0, or in this case, error. So right now, we are going to the study floats. The floats are used in Python to represent numbers that aren't integers. Some examples of numbers that are represented as floats are 0 0.5 and negative 0.823 to infinity. <laughs> Just joking. They can be directed directly 
by entering a number with a decimal point or by using apprehension divisions on integers. Excess zeros at the numbers are ignored. So this is where the concept of significant zeros comments or are applied, but nah, does it really matter? Which of the float? This will not be stored as a float. This will not really be stored as a float unless indicated it will be stored as a float. As you saw in the previous the dividing any two to produce a float. A float is also produced by running an operation or two floats or another float and an integer. So any operation run on a float will generally output a float. So out of the, this is 3, 6, 10, 15.0. Oh, so we are now at 4. See, this is great for review if you've forgotten how to code in Python. If you, are, if you know a lot of programming language, you might sometimes be confused on which is which or which syntax is used. So install the solo learns for a quick reference. And it's quite good actually. So this is 1 plus 1. It's 2 raised raised to 2. Now it's plus 3. So 4 raised to 2 is 16. To determine the quotient and remainder of division, is the floor division and module operators respectively. Floor division is done by using two forward slashes. The module operator is carried out with a percentage symbol. These operators can be used in both floats and integers. So if we use the Two, floor, two forward starches, we will get the integer or the quotient, and if we do the the percentage, we will get the modulo or the remainder. So at six, tw 20 divided by 6 is 6 to 18, modulo of 2, remainder of 2. So, yeah. So 7, so 5 divided by 2 is 4, so 7 modulo of 4 is 3. It's 1, so remainder of 1. We're still, yeah. You, you should actually read it. It's quite a good compilation of things. Hmm. Oh, wait, I repeated it. Haha. <laughs> Explanation, strings. Okay, Python provides an easy way to avoid manually writing Russian to escape new lines in the string. Create a string with three sets of codes and and new lines that are created by and pressing enter and are automatically escaped for you. So basically, this example above is the same as this. This example is the same as this example. So instead of writing dash n, you could just put double quotations. And so it's automatic. <coughs> oh, you didn't miss a part of the output. This wasn't clear. Oh, this this is where we can use the un the hint or unlocks. Ah, <coughs> wrong. It was not backslash. It was forward slash again. See if you can't answer. If you can't answer it you get these points. If you answer it correctly, you get these points, which you can use for using using to un answering things that you can't answer. So you get points, and if you can't answer something, you can use the hint or the unlock button. Or the trick I use, if I was too lazy to actually do anything, is just to answer it incorrectly, then look at the comment section below and ask for the answer. So, input output. Usually, 
point was taken, but uh, not impossible to use the print file to browse out this series of text or representation of something on the screen, just like as we have done. So if we print print, I'll, I'll so the answer is this one. Yeah, because double quotations makes us make signifies as a string, whatever single string here. Yeah. To get info from the user, you, you in Python three, you use input. But in Python two point x, I believe you use raw underscore input. Those are some of the minor differences in Python three. In general, some well, some differences in Python two and Python three are that uh, Python three is less confusing if you haven't learn 2.x and you've just started studying them at both at the same time python 2 is more confusing than python 3 however if you've been using python 2 for a very long time you'll see you'll commonly make uh, some minor mistakes when you are transferring to my to python 3 since they are so similar to each other so you want to get input. Keep in mind this is most likely in CLI so they need to open a CLI for this to work. You can use TK insert which I don't believe is included in this. It's a module that lets you create, lets you create a GUI or graphical user's interface but generally it's fine. So let's do spam and x. So what was the instructions again? Spam plus x, you write spam and x. First string plus x string. So that is, oh, this is called concatenations, joining of two or any number of strings. So if you want to write to join two words, hello world. Now, why is, you seem to be wondering why is this important? Well, if you are going to use SQL, this is a handy way to uh, converge them or uh, or use them simultaneously. For example, if you ha if you aren't going to use lists or an array or make your own application, it's it's generally advised to use SQL to import SQL light. And most of the syntax is that is used here can be used in SQL. Mm. Mm. I'm going because I'm going to take care of my monkey and I'll continue this after this one. So one plus two this one is an error because you get join a string and a integer of float or a number without converting them. So three raised to seven, which is seven, seven, seven. Everything happened.